Okay, so let's take a leak take a look at leak code 1363, largest multiple of three. So as usual, I'm not actually gonna give you the exact code in this video. I'm just gonna tell you how to do the English algorithm, the in, the algorithm in English, and I'll give you a little bit of pseudo code for the the part that is kind of um, difficult to write in code. So so try to work with this pseudo code first before you actually um, look at the answer, which, which I'll have in my description in a GitHub link. So anyways, the question is asking us to. They're giving us an input list of numbers, and you know we can rearrange these numbers in any way we want. And we have to form the largest number that is divisible by three. So the first thing we need to know, the first trick we need to know is that if you sum up all the digits in a number and they add up to some number which is divisible up, divisible by three, then the, the number itself is also divisible by three. So like nine nine plus eight plus one is eighteen, and eighteen in it. 18 is divisible by 3, so that means 981 is divisible by 3. So that's a pretty common math trick that you've probably heard of in school before. So yeah, that, that's, that's a trick that you need to know in order to solve this problem. And no matter which way you want to solve this problem, I, I'm going to be solving this problem in a greedy approach, but in the other, you know, there's some faster approaches uh, in the discussion sec sections, and uh, yeah, everyone is still using this, this math trick, so you need to know this regardless. So that's the first trick, right? And then, you know, I think the most intuitive way to do it is just with, with a greedy um, approach. So the first thing you wanna do is sort this list in descending order, right? So let's say we have, um, so I have this second example here, eight, six, seven, one, zero. I sorted it, so the seven and sixes are swapped. And then, so after I sort it, you know, in descending order, then we can kind of just try to pick off the numbers um, you know, so basically we're gonna just check if this number is divisible by three. If it's divisible by three, then we just immediately return. And then if it's not, then we'll try to greedily, you know, pick off one number from the end. And, um, you know, what I mean by that is first we'll try to take off the zero. If, um, if the remaining numbers are divisible by three, then we just immediately return. So, so with a greedy approach, the first time we find something that's divisible by three, that we know that's our answer because the way we're gonna pick off the numbers is, is in a way that we're always getting the next, um, you know, largest number. So, like I said, the first thing we do. So I have all the different um, examples written out here. So with this set of numbers, um, the first thing. The first number that we're going to want to delete is the zero, right? So we're left with eight, seven, six, one, and then we check if this is divisible by three. It's not. Um, so then we move on to the next one, which is eight, seven, six, zero. So how do we get to eight, seven, six, zero? We just had, we took out the one from the input. So basically, what we're gonna do is just go through and try to um, first. First, we're gonna take out this number if that didn't work, then we'll just take out this number here by itself. If this isn't divisible by three, then we'll go ahead and try to take this one out. You know, as you can see, that'll leave us with eight, seven, one, zero. If that's not divisible by three, then we'll, you know, keep moving the, the pointer, the index pointer, um, you know, to the left one. Um, and this will always guarantee that we're, you know, kind of um, creating these new numbers, which are uh, the, lar the next largest possible. So let's say let's say we get down to here, and you know, we, we remove the eight, and then this combination of seven six one zero is still not divisible by three. Then what's the next thing we have to do? We have to start removing two at a time. Then so then instead of just removing the zero, we remove both the zero and the one, right? So if if then if this combination of eight seven six, because there's eight seven and six remaining, if this is still not divisible by three, then we'll move the two, the chunk of two you know, to the left again, right? So it's kind of like a sliding window. We'll just delete, we'll just remove in a sliding window technique, right? If this eight, seven, zero does not work, then we'll shift it again and delete the seven and the six and we're left with eight, one, zero, right? So you can see this kind of progression here. Um, I've already written it out. So I guess the, the tough part is kind of just knowing how to delete these numbers in kind of like a sliding window fashion um, in a greedy approach. So how you do it is, I have the pseudocode here, right? So you wanna have a double for loop. The outer outer loop is kind of just the chunk size, right? So we start at a chunk size of one. We're gonna delete with a chunk size of one, right? And we're gonna delete all the way up until n, which is 
the, the total length of the, the array, right? And then the second inner loop is basically just the index that we want to um, start this at. So, um, yeah, so we want to start this at n minus the chunk size. So the first time we start deleting anything, we'll have the, the chunk size is 1. So n minus 1 is where we start, um, right? So we start here, and then we um, move the index decrement by 1 every time, right? And then the chunk size, um, the, the deletion portion goes to here, right? And then we just generate the, uh, the new portion, the new list based on like some string slicing. So this isn't the most optimal approach, right? I think this is O of n squared. I'm not exactly sure the time complexity, but it's definitely not the fastest, right? There's actually some O of n approaches to this problem. But um, I think this is the most intuitive and something that you can think of without having to do some weird, clever math tricks, right? So yeah, I think th I think that's pretty much it for this video. Um, try to try to implement this pseudo code yourself without, you know, you know, looking at the formal answer in my GitHub, try, try to work off this pseudocode first. And um, yeah, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess that's it. So I'm gonna try to continue making more videos as consistently as possible. And um, yeah, I mean, I just finished up a couple of final round interviews recently. So um, yeah, I'll have some more time to make some uh, leak code walkthroughs and hope you guys learned something and um, yeah, give me give me some feedback. All right. Thanks for watching.